is complex number plus minus complex number. Last subtopic is five by four representation of a complex numbers. Representation of a complex numbers. How to represent the complex numbers? Means complex number can be represented. Complex number. Complex numbers can be represented in following this. Complex number can be represented in following ways. First one, geometrical form. Geometrical form. Second one, first one is geometrical form. Second one is vectorial form. Is nothing but vector form. Next, third one is polar form. Polar form is nothing also called as polar form is also called as Trigonometric, trigonometrical form, trigonometrical form, or trigonometric form. Next, four points, four points. You are four points. You are representation of a complex number. Complex number can be represented. Complex number can be represented following ways. Nothing but geometrical form. Complex number can be represented as geometrical form. Complex number is also represented as a vectorial form. That is nothing but vector form. And a complex number is also represented as polar form. And complex number is also represented as polar form. So let us discuss one by one. First one is geometrical form. First one is geometrical form. First one is geometric. Observe here. Suppose we have a complex number. Suppose we have a complex number. Let z is equal to three plus four times of alpha. Suppose we have a one complex number. Z is equal to three plus four times of alpha. Here, real part of z is nothing but real part of z is nothing but three. Imaginary part of the data is nothing but four. Let us suppose we have a one complex number. Suppose we have a one complex number is nothing but z is equal to three plus four times of i. Z is equal to three plus four times of i. Observe here, z is equal to three plus four times of i. Real part of z is nothing but real part of z is nothing but three. Imaginary part of z is nothing but four. Imaginary part of z is equal to how much? If locate the point P on the x y plane, for example, if you locate the point P on the x y plane, already we know that x y plane. This is x axis. This is y axis. This is y axis. If you represent the point P on the x y plane, that is point P, point P is equal to how much? This is all the way three comma four. If you locate the point P on the x y plane, is nothing but x coordinate is on x y plane, on x y plane, x coordinate is equal to. Real part of that is nothing but three. X coordinate is equal to real part of that is equal to three. Y coordinate is equal to y coordinate is equal to imaginary part of that is nothing but four. Imaginary part of that is nothing but four. Thus, the complex number. This is x coordinate. This is y coordinate. If you look at this complex number of point B. An x y plane. On x y plane, this is 
x coordinate is nothing but real part of z and y coordinate is nothing but imaginary part of z. So here x axis is, is nothing but real axis. X axis is nothing but real axis that is the real number system. This is this is real number system. Y coordinate is nothing but imaginary part of z. That means y is y axis is nothing but imaginary axis. Imaginary. If point B located, that means if complex number, if a complex number located on XY plane, then our complex number present in a plane, then the plane is called, this plane is called R dot plane or Gaussian plane. This plane is called when we represent the complex number on the XY plane. When we represent the complex number or when we plot the complex number, when we plot the complex number on XY plane, the XY plane is also called as here XY plane can be converted into R dot plane of Gaussian plane. R dot plane of this plane is called G A U S S I A N Gaussian plane. Gaussian plane of R dot plane, R dot plane of complex, complex. When we locate the complex number on x y plane, when we locate the uh, when the when the we locate the complex number on the plane, then the plane is called then the plane is called. R dot plane or Gaussian plane or complex plane. So this plane is called R dot plane or Gaussian plane or complex plane. When we represent or when we plot the complex number on the plane, when we plot the complex number on the plane, that plane is called, that plane is called, this plane is called R dot plane or Gaussian plane or complex plane. R dot plane R, Gaussian plane R, complex plane. So this is this plane is called R dot plane R, Gaussian plane R, complex plane. Here x axis is nothing but real axis. X axis is nothing but real axis, and y axis is nothing but imaginary axis. Imaginary axis. If you take z is equal to three plus four times of iota, three plus four times of iota. X is positive, Y is also positive. That means X coordinate is also positive, Y coordinate also positive. Here the sign is first quadrant value is nothing but plus comma plus. Here the sign is minus comma plus. Here the sign is minus comma minus. This is plus and minus. If you look at 3 comma 4, for example, here 3 comma 4, 3 comma 4. This can be represented z is equal to so complex number is nothing but 3 plus 4 times of 3 plus 4 times of if you look at the same complex number is nothing but minus 3 comma 4 minus 3 comma 4 this is point p point p minus 3 comma 4 this is complex number is nothing but minus 3 plus 4 times of Minus 3 plus 4 times of i in second quadrant. Plus 3 plus 4 times of i in first quadrant. Third quadrant, if you look at point B here, point B here, minus 3, minus 4, then complex number is z is equal to minus 3, minus 4 times of i in. Minus 3, minus 4 times of i in. Minus 3, minus 4 times of i in. Third quadrant, this is third quadrant. Next, fourth quadrant. If you look at point B here, that is 3 comma minus 4, then complex number z is equal to 3 minus 4 times of x, 3 minus 4 times of 3 plus 4 times of x is different from 3 plus 4 times of x. 3 plus 4 times of x is the first quadrant, minus 3 plus 4 times of x is the second quadrant, minus 3 minus 4 times of x is the third quadrant, plus 3 minus 4 times of x is the fourth quadrant. Let us plot the points or plot the complex numbers like this. 
this play when the congress number presented when the congress number presented to the play this play is called this play is called gaussian play gaussian play or argon play gaussian play or argon play or xy gaussian play or argon play or xy play this play is called argon play or gaussian play or xy play so complex number can be represented in the following way that is geometrical form this is geometrical form in geometry complex number like squared geometry form like this we can form this plane is called what ja gaussian plane gaussian plane argon plane complex plane this plane is called gaussian plane argon plane complex plane this is when we plot the complex number in the plane so this is what geometrical form this is geometrical form next vectorial form. next second one vector form vector form or vectorial form second one vector form or vectorial form vector form or vectorial form a complex number a complex complex number visually visually represented represented pair of numbers nothing but ordered pair number a complex number visually represented pair of numbers that is ordered pair a complex number can be can be visually represented pair of ordered pair say comma b in our plan way this is this is x axis this is y axis a complex number visually it can be represented as complex number visually it can be represented as a pair of numbers a comma b pair of numbers a comma b that means if you look at complex number z a comma b this forms a this forms a this forms a vector forms a vector this forms a vector nothing but this is complex number z z nothing but a comma this is a gaussian plane or argon plane if you join like this if you join like this like this and like this and this is point a this is point a if you draw a ray through point z a comma b it has some magnitude and it has some direction it has direction it has direction this direction oz direction oz direction it has some direction and and it has magnitude it has magnitude it has magnitude so a complex number visually represented as a pair of numbers pair of numbers this forms a vector then vector and this vector is called
A complex number visually can be represented from the Gaussian plane R1 plane like this that is equal to R1 plane A comma B. This forms a vector. This forms a vector. That is, that is, if you join O B like this, it has some direction. Vector means means what? If it has direction and it has magnitude, that is called one vector. So it has some magnitude direction and it has some magnitude. Was it like you know that we have to find the was it like? So there is some direction, it has some magnitude. This is called vector form. This is called what? Vectorial form or vector form of the complex number. This is called vector form or vectorial form of complex number. That means if you look at the complex number on the organ it has like this. If you draw it like this, it has direction and or also look at your second quadrant. If you join it like this, it has one direction and it has some magnitude. So, this form is called what? Vectorial form. This form is called what? Vectorial form. And this diagram, this diagram is represented as Argon diagram. What is Argon diagram. This is diagram is called Argon diagram. This is the, this form is called, this form is called what? Vectorial form or vector form. Next third one. Next one. Polar form. Next one. Third one. Polar form. What is the polar form means? They give they give radius and an angle. They give radius and an angle. How to represent the complex number? How to represent the complex number? With the radius and then some theta angle means for the tradition that suppose we have complex numbers. Suppose we have a we have a complex number. Suppose we have a complex number, z is equal to 1, that is equal to z is equal to x plus i1, z is equal to x plus i1. Suppose we have a complex number, z is equal to x plus i1. Yes, if you look at it here, this is z, this x comma y, nothing but x plus i1, they are getting from the problem, so this is b. Sometimes I give radius. If you this is perpendicular line. This is perpendicular line. This is z. It's nothing but z is equal to x plus y of z is equal to x plus y of z comma, z is equal to x comma y. Already we know that modulus of z. Modulus of z is equal to what is the formula? Modulus of z is equal to R to be discussed in previous class. That is, modulus of z is equal to x square plus y square. Modulus of z is equal to how much? x square plus y square. In other words, z in normal way, this is the complex number of z equal to x plus i y. If you plot means, that is, z is x comma y. This length is how much? y units. This length is x units this line is x units this line is y units clearly this is a right angular triangle a right angular triangle if you take this o a this is take a jr b take b this is yeah this is how much yeah triangle o m b triangle o m b is a right So how to find these values? This value is nothing but mod z. Mod z is nothing but this is we have right angle triangle by Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem, the square of hypotenuse. This is right angle opposite side. Right angle opposite side is called 
hypotenuse. So I am going to talk about the number of OP square. OP square. OP square is equal to. OP square is equal to. We are right angle to angle. The square of hypotenuse is equal to. Sum of the squares of the remaining two sides. Sum of the squares of the remaining two sides. Nothing but OM square plus. OM square plus PM square. PM square. O P square is equal to O M. O M is nothing but X square plus P M is nothing but Y square. We want O P to O P is equal to square root of X square plus Y square. Square root of X square plus Y square is nothing but square root of X square plus Y square. This is nothing but half. Is nothing but what? This is radius. And they gave also here theta, some angular theta. They gave theta and the radius. They gave theta and the radius. How to represent the complex number in the form of radius r and theta? R and theta. This can be polar form is also called as a trigonometrical form. Trigonometrical form. So this is theta and this is radius. Also, already we discussed the modulus of z is nothing but the length of the or the distance between the O and the point P. The distance between the O and point P is called modulus of z and nothing but mod z is equal to square root of x square plus y square is nothing but radius. Ah. So when they give radius and theta, radius and theta, how to represent the complex number? That is the that form is called polar form. When the complex number represented in R comma theta, R comma theta, R comma theta are called polar coordinates. Observe here. R comma theta here will call polar coordinates. X comma y is called what? X y x y where x y is called x comma y is x y coordinates. Here R comma theta is called what? Polar coordinates. This this is when the z expressed in R comma theta. R comma theta that is called that form is called polar form. That form is called what? Polar Observe here. This is the right angle triangle. This is the right angle triangle. Right angle. Yeah. Yeah. This is right angle triangle. Right angle. Yeah. Observe here. This is right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. So here. Here. Sine theta. Sine theta means sine theta. Sine of theta is nothing but opposite to angle theta by. Hypotenuse. Opposite side to theta by hypotenuse. Opposite to angle theta by hypotenuse. So sin theta is equal to opposite. Sin theta is equal to opposite to sin theta is nothing but y by hypotenuse is nothing but square root of x square plus y square. Sin theta is equal to how much? Square root of y by square root of x square plus y square. Also. Cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to here. What is the value? theta means? Later we discuss theta means argument or amplitude. Argument or amplitude. If you completed your form, we discuss what is the argument and like this. So here theta is called argument of a complex number. So cos theta is equal to cos theta is nothing but adjacent of adjacent side to theta by adjacent side to theta by hypotenuse. Adjacent side of theta by hypotenuse. So cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to. We get adjacent side of theta is nothing but x by x by square root of x square plus y square. This is cos theta, and this is sin theta. Sin theta is equal to y by square root of x square plus y square, and cos theta is equal to x by square root of x square plus y square. Square root of x square plus When we are express z is equal to x in the same way in terms of r comma theta, in terms of r comma theta is the what polar form? Is the what polar form? R comma theta are the polar coordinates. Are the what polar coordinates? So if you express z is equal to x plus i in terms of r comma theta, then are called polar coordinates.
is nothing but square root of 4. We get good. We get how much? 2. Y star, we, we use this one, square root of x square plus y square means already discussed in the previous. If z is equal to x plus i y, z is equal to x plus i y, numerator and denominator is multiplied by the square root of x square plus y square, square root of x square plus y square, it converted into polar form. So that's why, what is the value of here x square square root of x square plus y square is nothing but 1 whole square plus y value root 3 whole square, we get 1 plus is nothing but root 4 square root of 4 is nothing but how much? 2 is the value of square root of x square plus y square. So, here we have the x is equal to 1 plus iota times of root 3. We have a z is equal to how much? 1 plus iota times of root 3. Multiply with both sides into square root of x square plus y square is nothing but 2 by 2. 2 by 2 means 2 to get cancelled, that is 1, 1 is the multiplicative identity. So this can be written as 2 times of 1 plus iota times of root 3 by 2. Iota times of root 3 by 2. If you separate the denominator, we get here 2 times of 1 by 2 root plus 1 by 2 plus iota times of square root of 2. If you do that, so 2 is L same 1 plus I O times of root 3. So 2 times of 1 by 2 plus I O times of I O times of root 3 by 3. So we know the polar form that is polar form. Polar form is nothing but R into cos theta plus I sin theta. This form is called what? Polar form. Polar form. So, R into cos theta plus I sin theta is called what? Polar form. R into cos theta plus I sin theta is called what? Polar form. So, this can be represented into R times of cos theta plus I sin theta. Observe here, 1 by 2. 1 by 2 means that is Z is equal to 2 times R. Already we know that 1 by 2 can be represented into terms of cos. Cos, cos 60 value, how much? Cos 60 is nothing but 1 by 2. Cos 60 is nothing but 1 by 2. And root 3 by 2, in terms of root 3 by 2, expressed in terms of sine, we get i times of sine 60 value, how much? Sine 60 also root 3 by 2. So, z is equal to 2 times of cos 60 can be given as this is in terms of degree, convert into in terms of radius. Here, cos 5 by 3. 5 by 3 is nothing but 180 by 3 is nothing but 60. So, cos 5 by 3 plus iota times of sin 5 by 3. Cos 5 by 3 plus iota times of sin 5 by 3. Sin 5 by 3. This is called polar form. This is called what? Polar form. So, here, R times of R times of cos of plus. I say. So the here one plus z is equal to 1 plus i times of root 3, we convert it to r times of cos theta plus i sin theta. That is geometrical form. This is geometrical form. This is what? Polar form. That is geometrical form. This is polar form. Polar form is nothing but r into cos theta plus i sin theta. R is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. Is a polar form. Okay. Next one. Last one, that is Euler form. Euler form. Where, where we get cos theta plus i sin theta. But whenever we use, we see this one. Cos theta plus i sin theta. Cos theta plus i sin theta. Whenever we see this types of cos theta plus i sin theta, we use one notation that is e power, this is i theta. e power theta. Cos theta plus i sin theta. Cos theta plus cos theta plus cos theta plus i sin theta is equal to value of much e power i theta. Sometimes cos theta minus i sin theta, cos theta minus i sin theta, we use this notation. Cos theta minus i sin theta is equal to e to the power, e to the power minus i times of theta. 
e to the power minus e to the power. Cos theta plus sin theta equals to e power i theta. And cos theta, wherever you get the cos theta plus sin theta equals to e power i theta. And cos theta plus sin theta equals to e power minus i theta. So if z is equal to x plus i theta, z is equal to x plus i theta, the power of the formula is r times r plus sin theta equals to e power i theta. So the power of the formula is r times r cos theta plus i sin theta. That is, this is called what? Polar form. This is this is called what? Polar form. We want polar form. Cos theta plus sin theta theta. Cos theta plus sin theta theta can be written as r times of e power i theta. R times of cos theta plus sin theta theta. Cos theta plus sin theta theta we get e power i theta. So z is equal to r times of e power i theta is called Euler form, Euler form of the complex number. Z is equal to R to the power into e power i theta. R into e power i theta is equal to R into e power i theta is equal to Euler form of the given complex number. Sometimes we use Z is equal to R and we use mod to make it into e power i theta. E power i theta. This is form is called Euler form. Let us discuss some examples here. Already we know that if z is equal to z is equal to one plus iota times of root three, z is equal to what is the polar form? Means polar form is nothing but two times already discussed in previous two times of cos pi by three plus iota times of sin pi by three is a polar. This is a polar form. How to express z is equal to one plus i root three i root times of root three times of Euler form is that is Euler form is Euler form is z is equal to cos pi by three plus sin i sin pi by three cos pi by three plus i sin pi by three. This is in terms of cos theta plus i sin theta cos theta plus i sin theta. When we saw cos theta plus i sin theta, wherever we see Cos theta plus sin theta theta can be expressed in terms of e power i theta, and z is equal to r times of e power i theta is nothing but polar form. So this is can be written as r times of r times of polar form is r times of e power i theta. Polar form is r times of e power i theta. So this can be written as r. We have r by one. This is r times of cos theta plus sin theta theta. Is here r times of two times of two times of e power i theta e power e power i times of theta by how much here pi by 3 i pi by 3 i pi by 3 this is the molar form so z is equal to two times of two times of e power e power i times of pi by 3 z is equal to two times of e power i times of pi by 3 this form is called what molar form of complex molar form of complex but this is molar form molar form of Here theta is the number of complement of the complex number. Let us discuss next one, next class. So z is equal to two times of two times of e power iota times of pi by three is equal to molar form of a complex number. So complex number, complex number can be represented in following ways. That is geometrical form. Z is equal to x plus i y. Z is equal to x plus i y is a geometrical form. And we use vectorial form. If you draw it like this, it has some magnitude and some direction. So that is represented in organ diagram. That is, it forms a vector. It forms a vector. So that is called vectorial form. And then, John, complex number can be represented in two. This is r times of r times of cos theta plus r times of cos theta plus iota times of sin theta. This form is called the polar form. R trigonometrical form. Polar form of trigonometrical form of given complex number. Our complex number can be found in express into Euler form. Euler form is the number. Whenever we see cos theta plus i sin theta, we use the notation cos theta plus i sin theta is equal to e power i theta. If you see cos theta minus i sin theta, we use e power minus i theta. E power minus i theta. Already we know that polar form. Z is equal to r times of cos theta plus i sin theta. Polar form, z 
that is equal to r times of cos theta plus i sin theta. So cos theta plus i sin theta, we use the one notation e power i theta. So z is equal to r times of e power i theta. This form is called, this form is called what? Euler form, Euler form. So for example, if you take z is equal to 1 plus i over times of root 3, the polar form is how to discuss it. G2 into cos by 1 3 plus i sin by 1. 2 into cos by 1 3 plus i sin by 1. This is a polar form. If we express it to Euler form, that is z is equal to r value here to 2. So r times of e power i theta, theta is nothing but here pi by 3. So i times of pi by 3, then this is called Euler form of a, Euler form of a complex number. This is polar form of a complex number. This is Euler form of a complex number. Yes, next one is argument of complex numbers. Argument of argument of complex.
if p point p let us assume that zero is equal to x plus i by if locate point p on the arc and plane wo p if you draw wo p it makes an angle with x axis in positive direction of x axis it makes an angle with positive direction of x axis then here this angle this angle theta is called argument of complex number argument of complex number is nothing but argument of argument of z argument of complex number or argument of complex number r amplitude of complex number here theta is called what argument of complex number r amplitude of complex number here theta is called what argument argument of complex number r amplitude of amplitude of complex number here theta is called argument of complex number r amplitude of complex number How to find the value of theta means? How to find the value of theta means? Observe the diagram, Arthur diagram here. Observe this Arthur diagram clearly. We know that theta, in terms of x and y, in terms of x and y, we have a relation that is opposite to sine to theta by adjacent sine to theta. Opposite sine to theta by adjacent sine to theta. We have a relation. Is nothing but tan theta so clearly tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to opposite side to theta opposite side to theta is nothing but y and opposite side to theta is nothing but x so tan theta is equal to opposite side to theta by adjacent side to theta is nothing but y by x yes. is nothing but y by x so Positive, we want the positive direction of it. Positive direction, positive angle. We want positive angle. So tan theta is equal to take modulus. Nothing but tan theta is equal to mod y by x. Tan theta is equal to mod y by x. Nothing but tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to modulus of modulus of y is nothing but y is nothing but what? Imaginary part of z five. X is nothing but Real part of imaginary part of z number, real part of z. We want theta. Argument of z complex number, the argument of z is equal to argument of z is equal to. If you transpose tan here, we get tan inverse of tan inverse of imaginary part of z by real part of z. Imaginary part of z by real part of z. So how to find here also? Theta is equal to theta is nothing but argument of z. Nothing but theta is equal to we get here tan inverse of modulus of y by x to find the value of theta. That is nothing but argument or amplitude. How to find the value of theta? That means argument means that is tan inverse tan inverse y by x tan inverse. y by x or tan inverse modulus of modulus of imaginary part of complex number by real part of complex number that is argument of z is equal to tan inverse imaginary part of modulus of imaginary part of z by real part of z why we take modulus means we have tan theta is a makes an angle with the positive direction positive direction of x axis positive direction of x axis Then it is called the argument of amplitude of argument of amplitude of given complex number. So how to find the value of theta? Means theta here tan theta is equal to y by x. Then theta is equal to tan inverse. Then theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x. Theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x. Observe here. Let us discuss an example here. Example. If you take z is equal to one plus iota times of root three, z is equal to one plus iota times of root three. What is the argument of z? What is the argument of z? Argument of z means argument of z means that is tan inverse tan inverse modulus of imaginary part of z is nothing but root three and real part of z is nothing but one. So we get tan inverse of root three by one. That is tan inverse of root three by one is nothing but root three only. 
So this can be written as 10 inverse of root 3. Now nothing but in terms of tan theta, that is tan 60. So theta is equal to how much? 60. So argument of this one, complex number argument of z is equal to 1 plus higher terms of root 3 is nothing but 60 or pi by 3. So angle is equal to how much? Pi by 3. But observe here. If you take jet is equal to 1 plus i over times of root 3, it is the first quadrant. Now problem tan inverse of y by root. y by x is nothing but root 3 by 1, we get 61. If you take jet is equal to minus 1, minus i over times of root 3, minus 1, minus i over times of root 3, we get 60 only. If you take minus 1 plus i over times of root 3, we get same angle 60 only. If you take 1 minus i over times of root 3, we get same angle 60. But it has some, uh, it has some small remark. So how to rectify the remark means in the algorithm, every point, every point is different complex number. Every point, look at every point is represent different, different of complex numbers. Why, why, how to find the complex number? In, how to find the argument of the complex number if it has First quadrant, if it has second quadrant, if it has third quadrant, if it has fourth quadrant means. If you use this form, the theta is equal to inverse of y by x. If you take 1 plus i root 3, 60 only, minus 1 minus i root 3, 60 only, 1 minus i times of root 3, 60 only, minus 1 plus i root times of root 3, we get 61. But this is somewhat remark. So, how to find the argument of complex number means? It, according to its Position, that is first quadrant, or second quadrant, or third quadrant, or fourth quadrant, and first of all, what is the what is the that is principal argument of theta means when the argument of theta when the argument of theta satisfies the inequality when the argument of theta satisfies the inequality minus pi minus pi is less than theta is less than or equal to pi is less than or equal to by when the argument of theta, argument of theta satisfies the inequality, argument of theta satisfies the inequality is nothing but minus 5 is less than theta is less than or equal to 5, minus 5 is less than theta is less than or equal to 5, then theta is called principal, principal argument, principal argument of principal amplitude. When the theta satisfies the inequality, when the theta satisfies the inequality, minus pi less than theta is less than or equals to plus pi. Minus pi is less than theta is less than or equals to plus pi. Then only theta here comes, then only theta is called what? Principal argument of principal argument of principal amplitude. Principal amplitude. Now we get the, uh, we use this values. Uh, observe here, if you rotate like this, OB, 2 by is uh, 2 by times, we get same values, we get infinite values of OB. So when we use, find the values, lie between this inequality, minus pi is less than theta is less than equals to pi, then only we say this is principal argument of theta or principal amplitude of theta. When we find the theta angle always lie between minus pi to plus pi. Up to minus pi is less than theta is less than or equal to plus pi. Then only we get the amplitude or argument of the given complex number. So then only we said that that is principal argument of principal amplitude of given complex number. So every quadrant, every quadrant First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. The principle of argument somewhat changes. Let us discuss. Yes, argument of complex number. Argument of complex number. If it is lies in first quadrant. Argument of first quadrant. Argument of z is equal to z is equal to x plus iota times of y. Then x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. Or 
moment of generating it was the x plus i value. Then x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. That means clearly x is positive and y is positive. x is positive and y is positive. If you take the complex number, z is equal to x plus i value. Clearly. If you take this is our gun or the Russian plane. Point P here, nothing but x comma y. This is angle M O. Observe here, argument of complex number z equals x plus i y. When x is greater than zero and y is greater than zero, that means both x and y are positive. Is nothing but z. Well, the complex number lies in first quadrant, that is equal to x plus i y, lies in first quadrant, that is equal to x plus i y, x plus i y. x is positive and y is also, x quadrant is also positive, y quadrant is also positive. So, it lies in first quadrant, it lies in first quadrant. How to find the angle means? Observe here, this is x units, this is x units, this is y units, take alpha, take alpha. So z is equal to x plus i y. We want angle alpha is equal to alpha is equal to what? If you are taking tan alpha, tan alpha is equal to tan alpha is equal to what? Y by x. Tan alpha is equal to y by x. Tan alpha is equal to what? Y by x. Alpha is equal to tan plus of modulus of y by x. Tan plus of modulus of y by x. Clearly, here alpha is a, clearly alpha is a acute angle, alpha is a acute angle. It satisfies the inequality, it is nothing but inequality, principal argument, principal argument is nothing but minus 5 is less than theta is less than or equal to 5. Minus 5 is greater, minus 5 is less than theta is less than or equal to 5. Clearly it is a acute angle, it is less than pi less than pi and rather than minus pi. So we want argument of z. Argument of z is first pi. Alpha is acute angle. Acute angle. So clearly evident that argument of argument of z. Argument of z is equal. So argument of z in first quadrant. Argument of z in first quadrant. Argument of z in first quadrant. Argument of z is nothing but theta is equal to alpha. Argument of z is theta is equal to alpha. Why means alpha satisfies the inequality minus 5 is less than or equal to alpha. Alpha is less than or equal to plus 5. So the, clearly the alpha is acute angle. Acute angle and less than 180 and also greater than minus 5. This is positive direction of alpha. So it has satisfied the acute angle. It is evident that that is argument is the argument of z. So theta is equal to alpha. When the complex number lies in first quadrant, when the complex number lies in first quadrant, argument of z is nothing but argument of z is nothing but theta is equal to alpha. Alpha is nothing but theta is equal to alpha. Alpha is nothing but tan inverse of y. So theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x. If it has first quadrant, then theta is equal to what? Alpha. Theta is equal to alpha. If you take one example here, example, z is equal to 1 plus iota times of root 3. Z is equal to 1 plus iota times of root 3. We want argument of z, argument of z. First of all, we find alpha. So here, x is equal to, real part of z is equal to, x is equal to 1. And imaginary part of z is equal to root 3. Alpha is equal to tan inverse of y by x is nothing but root 3 by 1. So tan inverse of root 3. So alpha is equal to alpha is equal to tan inverse of root 3 means so we get here tan 60 value root 3. So tan inverse tan and tan is alpha is equal to 60. Alpha is equal to 60. Clearly z is equal to 1 plus iota times of root 3. Z is equal to 1 plus iota times of root 3. Clearly lies in first quadrant and it satisfies the inequality minus 5 is less than theta is less than or equal to plus 5. 
So it starts with the sin equality. So alpha is equal to 60, is less than 180. So clearly, argument of z is equal to. In first quadrant, theta is equal to what? In first quadrant, theta is equal to alpha. Theta is equal to alpha. So therefore, argument of z is equal to. Argument of z is equal to how much? Theta is equal to 60 degrees. Theta is equal to 60 degrees. Argument of z, theta is equal to how much? 60 degrees. If it is lies in first quadrant, theta is equal to alpha. If you first of all find alpha, we get the inverse of y by x. In first quadrant, theta is equal to alpha. So, that is theta is equal to that way. So, that is the inverse of y by x.